All right, today we're going to show you how to set up social e-cart on your Facebook page. For those of you that um, that don't know what social e-cart is, it's a fully functional Facebook app that allows anyone to easily sell and promote products on Facebook. Uh, you can populate all of your presence, stores, inventory directly into a Facebook page that you specify. If you don't already have an e-commerce store, the app can automatically create one for you. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a uh, Facebook account for one. Um, here's our test account for demonstration purposes. Once you have your account, you're going to need to have a Facebook page. You can add it to an existing Facebook page or you can uh, make a new one. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the social e-cart uh, application homepage. So I just want to search social. Cart. I'm gonna put the whole thing in. You may it may or may not pop up in your search for your first time searching for it. So just put in the full social space e-cart. Hit enter. There we go. Uh, we're at the social e-cart page. This briefly goes through the steps that I'm gonna outline for you right now. Right now we're we have a Facebook page. If you don't have one, I'll show you how to do one right now. Um, you can actually click here and then make sure that we do return back here. So we'll click here to create a page and we're going to do a local business or place. And you're going to want to enter in all your information uh, as far as category, uh, business or place, uh, street address, city, state, zip, and phone. Um, you're going to want to read the terms and click get started. It's going to ask you for your security check. Obviously, your CAPTCHA is probably going to be a little bit different than mine. Click Submit. And there you go. You just made yourself a Facebook page. You're going to want to, you know, obviously update your information, profile information, add a profile image, um, all your info, everything in here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the social e-car page. And what you're going to do is we're going to add the app to the page now. So on the left hand side, underneath the go to app button, you're going to see add to my page. You're going to add it to the, the page that you, that you set up or a page that you've already previously set up. You may have one or more pages in here. Select the one you want to use. All right, once we've done that, you want to, we're going to want to go to the app. So you just click go to app on the left. All right, so the next thing we want to do is sign up for social e-cart. It's pretty easy. Just click the blue button, sign me up for social e-cart. It's going to ask for permission to access some of your the basic information of the page. Make sure that this is a social e-cart and click allow. All right, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the type of store that we want to set up. There's two options that you can do that you can choose when setting up a new social e-cart store. There's one if you already have an existing store and then there's one if you want to create a new one. The one for creating when you already have an existing store, pretty simple. Pretty much you're going to manage all of your in inventory customers and orders in your separate online store the same as, as you normally do. So if you already have a, another store separate from Facebook that you're selling products on, this is the one that you're gonna wanna choose. Social eCart is gonna publish in real time your store's contents to your Facebook page. So everything that you update on your present store is gonna automatically update inside Social eCart. The first option is if you want uh, to open a new store or you don't already have one currently. A new online store is going to be created. It's going to be called a master store. And this is where you're going to manage all your inventory, customers, and orders. The master store is going to be separate from Facebook and people can access it, even people that don't have a Facebook account. So they'll actually have another at web address and they'll be able to go either to your Facebook social e-cart store or they can go directly to your store, your on your what we're, what we're calling your master store.
the, the same thing. Social eCart is going to publish in real time all the information from your master store to your Facebook page. All right, we're actually going to be choosing the second option because uh, we already have an existing online store that we want to sync. So we'll select the uh, option two. Um, we'll put in a store name, a contact email, the platform. Ours is EasyOSC. If your platform isn't listed here, contact us and we'll get you set up. A store URL, this is important. This URL is the direct URL to your present store and it's also going to be where you're going to upload your file uh, to bridge social eCart and your present store together. And then we're going to select a page that you want to associate uh, your store with. And click uh, create a new social eCart store. All right, we're almost there. One more step. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download the bridge or the agent file. Once we download it, we're going to have to upload it to our store. Um, so just click on download, save the file, and then I'm going to upload it using FTP to the URL that we specified on, on the page before. If you have any questions or help on how to upload uh, via FTP to your present store, you know, contact us and, and we'll walk you through it. I'm going to upload my agent file to the store now. And to refresh, all you have to do is click home or any button. All right, so there we go. We got our store. And then now what we can do is we can click on storefront to actually see uh, all of our products on our page. So now this is going to open up our Joe's new store page that we added earlier. And then here you go. Added a new tab for you and all, all your products. We've selected the new arrivals to show up on the front, but it's gonna be uh, whatever you choose. And we're gonna show you how to set up your new arrival specials, any featured products, best sellers, navigation, banner areas, all that stuff, in the next video. So uh, congratulations, you now got a store on Facebook.